Hey guys, it's John from Walkthrough Code. So uh, today we're going to start talking about React.js. So what is React.js? React.js is a view layer. It's not a framework, it's a library. Um, so why is it a library and not a framework? So uh, frameworks really give you, it's kind of like a one-stop shop. They give you, generally speaking, they give you Ajax. They give you promises. They give you some sort of like built-in event system. Um, like, you know, things like that, whereas libraries generally tend not to do that. Um, for example, React.js does not have Ajax built in, it does not have promises built in, it does not have any built in event systems or anything like that. Um, like, for example, you don't have in, um, so in AngularJS, you have things like ng, uh, sorry, uh, uh, ng repeat in, um, you know, ng class and things like that. And then, view even you have things like uh, v4 and and uh, v if and you know things like that whereas whereas react doesn't have those uh, built in and that kind of uh, leads us to our next question uh, why do people use it versus angular um, so angular angular js uh, had all of this stuff built in and it was and it was great and a lot of people liked it including myself I used it very, very regularly for a long time. Um, the obviously the benefit being that you didn't have to go out and include any third-party libraries. Um, generally, like for for those basic things, at least. Obviously, like if you wanted to do Google, Google Maps or something like that, you had to include one of the uh, script tag for that and stuff. Um, however. You know, Angular is the same way. It's much more modular. Um, you know, you you if you were to include Angular Core, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have everything. You have to include other uh, or import other stuff. But um, the benefit to using React is it's very customizable, and that's kind of you know that's why a lot of people really like React versus Angular. You can really make it your own thing. And it's useful um, if you want to kind of build a workflow that you know that you really like versus being forced to use their I shouldn't say forced being uh, really you know making I shouldn't say have to but you can you can use theirs or you can include something else and that that ha you know that stuff that they have built in it's kind of extra bloat there um, if you're not going to use it. Um, so it's, yeah, so it's, so React is very customizable in that way. So how to decide between Angular and React. Um, so honestly, Angular and React, they're kind of two different things, but I mean, you can really use either. It's really generally up to you. There, there are some scaling things. Both of them are pretty scalable, but I mean, that's, that's kind of a, another talk for another day. Um, but it's it's more than anything else. It's up, you know. It's depending on your preference. So, how you know getting up or getting React up and running. Um, so, create React app is kind of the new hotness for this. It came out, um, I don't know, a number of months ago, maybe a year or something ago. Um, no, not that far. Like month, months, a number of months ago. Um, and basically it's just a CLI, a command line tool that you can just use to say create React app in the name of the app and, you know, various flags if you want to generally, and, and you can just generate it right there and it makes life super easy. It automatically, you know, runs the NPM install or yarn, um, depending on how you, you know, how you think. And, um, the other option is called a starter kit. Um, those starter kits are like all over GitHub. You can just, you know, clone it down or, you know, zip and unzip or whatever, and then just um, run npm install or yarn or whatever, and it can just get all up and running for you. Um, also, a very, you know, kind of a shortcut thing. Um, the thing about Create React App, though, and starter kits is they're very, um, they're very opinionated. And opinionated meaning they have a they have a set workflow that works that was built that way for a reason. Um, sometimes your workflow isn't really going to mirror that workflow, 
Um, so it's going to be kind of up to you and how much refactoring you want, you're going to do if the um, if the way that they built it doesn't really fit how you want to run your workflow. Um, the solution for that, obviously, if you don't want to do any of that, is building it from scratch, which isn't that bad. Um, but with all of the shortcuts that we have, you kind of have to weigh how much time do I want to put uh, put into putting all this stuff together versus you know just generating it and refactoring a couple of things. So I'm sorry for the novel guys. I knew that was long. I hope that was informative, um, and I'm really excited to start getting into this React video or this React series. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next videos. They should be hopefully they should be super useful. Uh, give me any suggestions and comments or whatever in the comment section below. If you guys want me to keep making these videos, please like and subscribe so you know we can get some um, get some steam going in that direction. So thanks so much and see you in the next video and happy coding.